Hi all, my name is Bhanu Prakash. In the today's sessions, I am to cover how to generate the stubs and skeletons in the client program for the Google Investor. So, in this session, I am going to cover setting up the JDK in Eclipse, configuring the Apache CXF in Eclipse, and how to generate the stubs from Visual using Apache CXF in Eclipse, and finally, writing the client program and execute. So for this demo I'm using the IDE Eclipse as the IDE. So first step is we need to create a dynamic web project. So I'm selecting new dynamic web project and I'm giving a name as CXFWS. As a project name I click on the finish. So my first step will be how to set up the JDK for the given project. So right click, go to the project properties and by default you see the JRE system library Java SE 1.6. But I want to use the JDK 1.7. So select this and click on the remote. Add library. Here you can see the option of JRE system library. Click on the next. Go to the alternate JRE. Here you can say JDK 1.7. By default, when you click on the install JRE, what are the install JREs in your have been added to it? Looks you can see here. So I have JDK 1.7 as well as I have JDK 1.8. But for this demo or for this session, I'm going to select the JDK 1.7. So select JDK 1.7, say OK. And here you can see here you can see the JDK 1.7 alternate to JRE and click finish. So whatever we have selected JDK 1.7, it appears here. Say OK. So the next step is you need to set up the CXF to your project. So go to the window preferences. Go to the web services. Expand the tree. And here you can see CXF 2.x preferences. So already I have installed JXF 2.3. Apache CXF 2.7, Apache 2 per CXF 3.0. But for this project, I want to select as a 2.7 as a default. So I want to use the Apache CXF 2.7. So just to show how you can add, click on the add, and here browse already download the latest version or whatever the current version you want to use it, and select for example, I'm selecting Apache CXF 2.7 in the root directory and say OK. So after selecting, you can see the version 2.7.8 and type is Apache CXF. Save finish. So in that way, you can configure the Apache CXF in your Eclipse project. Select whatever the version you are looking for because they might be incompatible and 2.7.8 is which I am looking for and say apply. And finally click OK. So in this way, we have configured the JDK as well as Apache CXF to the Eclipse project. Now let me create the stubs. So go to the new other and here they have you have two options like web service as well as web service client. Typically if you want to expose as a service then you go for the web service and if you want to consume the visitor and generate the stubs then you can go for the web service client. So for our demo purpose we will be consuming the existing visitor and that's the reason I'm using the web service client. Click on the next. For this demo purpose, I am using a sample visitor which is which I bought it from internet. And here you can see I'm selecting this visitor to just show you. So select the URI and click on the browser and you can see the visitor here. Like here, the entire visitor is appear for you. So the same visitor, um, this is like a different ad program, hello program, and different calculations are there. So I'm going to use the same visitor for generating the stubs. Select the key the visitor. Select. And here the default configuration is there. And you can see that by default the Apache access is selected. But for the demo purpose, I want to use the Apache CXF click on the Tomcat server and select the Apache CXF and click OK 
you go to the next here the default package is by default generated you can change this package based on your requirement and click on the next here you can see the number of options like generated implementation generated default values uh, enable crossing for implicit soap headers enable loading of the default namespace package namespace enable so based on this option the cxf will be running the command to generate the steps based on this option so if you want to generate the headers in the steps then you can select so by default this will be not selected but if your web service response is having headers then you can select this option and save finish so once you save finish at the background the cxf will be executing a command to generate the steps so here you can see these are the steps loading front end jdan jax ws loading data branding jax p wsa to java this is the actual command which generates steps with the various options you can see minus class directory and minus p and minus validate and different options etc and finally validate this thing this is java it displays a version so here you can see here you can see it has generated different classes or the different steps for you and as well as the dependent libraries or the jar files here you can see all the jar files and dependent jar files everything you can see okay now finally we will be writing a client program so go to the new class i want to give the package com ws client this client and public static void main already have written the code just i'm going to explain this for now i'm going to copy paste it okay so we are ready with our client just to explain about it so this is the qnit the service name the next one is the url and this is the instance of the calculate service then we are calling the actual soap the next one is then after that you will be calculating the actual service which you want to invoke and finally we have explained the result so let me execute this program so it is indexing and finally it is invoking hello world and here you can see my program got my web service got executed or my service got executed and displaying the result so in this way you can generate the steps for the given visitor and write the uh, and write and uh, generate the steps for the user and write the client program to show the output okay so just to repeat we have seen the steps okay the first step is we have configured the required jdk to our eclipse project the second step is we have configured the cxf in eclipse the third step is we have generated the steps and final step is we have executed the client program to give the required output so this is the way how we can generate the steps from the given visitor and writing the client program hope someone will be able to help someone to resolve the problem and do not search for entire web thank you